American Airlines Flight 4656 from Miami touched down at the Philip Goldson International Airport shortly after 11 o'clock this morning. Its manifest indicated that 77 passengers were set to disembark on Belizean soil, the first commercial arrival since the PGIA was closed to such traffic on March 23rd. With everything in place to ensure that visitors as well as citizens are adequately protected from the transmission of COVID-19, Belize welcomed its residents and guests with open arms. We're coming here for holiday and just to have fun. We've been waiting and looking forward to this. So opening up October 1st, we thought we'd come here on the first day. Joining Ken Goulet from other parts of the United States were dozens of other travelers, including some who have visited the Jewel in pre-COVID times to purchase property. I've been here many times. First year was in 2000 and uh, traveled around for a month backpacking. And then over the years, I've come probably once every two years for a couple months. I uh, have a rental property in Cayo, and um, this trip, the purpose is to purchase a piece of property also in Cayo. What made you decide to get on the first flight back to Belize, notwithstanding all the circumstances that we're facing with COVID? I got tired of reading what was happening and what wasn't happening and getting misinformation, so I figured I'd come to find out for myself uh, firsthand. And it was a very simple process. Trouble-free for persons who opted to take a rapid test 72 hours prior to departure from the U.S. For those who had to be tested upon arrival, the process for clearance was rather time-consuming. I took my COVID test yesterday in the USA and got the rapid results because they require a 72-hour negative result to enter Belize. And so it was e easy for me because I got through the green line, which means you just go through because you showed a negative result. I can't speak for the people that haven't taken the test yet that are getting tested in there. It seems to be a longer process if you don't do that before you leave. The reopening of the country's only international civil airfield after a previously deferred date which was set for August 15th comes after a massive undertaking by government to certify tourism stakeholders in managing visitors amid the coronavirus pandemic. Aside from hotels and resorts, the gold standard certification also applies to the Ladyville Taxi Union as well as private charters. It is the first job for tour operator LaSalle Tillett in the last six months. It's my first job since February. And we're looking forward to, for, for, to, to, for something because we, we have staff that we have to pay and they're still working with nothing coming in. So we're anticipating that this would help us because of the gold standard. Many people that don't have it, they're calling us to um, meet their guests. So we hope that this works for us. You know? Despite a fairly small number of persons coming in today, the resumption of commercial operations at the PGIA sees life being breathed into the local airline industry, albeit a very small gasp. For us, the airport, the opening of the airport represents some confidence in the measures that, that the government has put in place, that the airlines have put in place in order to, to mitigate against the, the, the future spread of, of the, the coronavirus or the COVID-19 disease. Um, in terms of numbers for our operations, we're only looking at about a 5% um, in comparison to our October schedule last year. It is anticipated that there will be some improvement in those numbers over the next few months. Until then, the few visitors who are calling on Belize for leisure are planning to make the best of it, restrictions notwithstanding. Are you comfortable with that arrangement, knowing that you can't really roam around freely on your own? Um, there's lots of good things to see. But we're just happy to be here, hit the beaches, and have fun at the resort. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Cayetano.